I'm Krista Benedictus, and this is my review for Godzilla. In 1954, we awakened something. Well, there's nuclear tests in the Pacific. Not tests. They were trying to kill it. Now this is Godzilla. This is the beast that has been lost to us for so many years and the one who deserves his moment in the limelight. Godzilla is back and he is bigger, badder, and more awe-inspiring than ever. One thing I would like to applaud this film for up front is the marketing. Bravo. The trailers for this film are phenomenal, revealing almost none of the plot, which made the movie all the better because I had no idea it was going to happen. And boy, did it take me on a wild ride. I will forgo my usual summary and state simply that a nuclear reactor in Japan explodes because of an unexplained phenomenon. And from there, the roller coaster ride begins. You are not fooling anybody when you say that what happened was a natural disaster. You're lying. It was not an earthquake. It wasn't a typhoon. Because what's really happening is that you're hiding something out there. And it is going to send us back to the Stone Age. First, I want to talk about the CGI. Oh man, that CGI. Godzilla is a wonder to behold in this latest installment. His posture harkens back to the Godzilla of old, upright and shambling and downright menacing, but he still has that newer Godzilla feel, a very clean and polished beast. The film rests on how good or bad the CGI is, and it is incredible. I saw the movie in IMAX 3D, which I highly recommend, and I was truly blown away by the immensity of the monster's presence. The thing that makes the movie so effective and fun to watch is how little you actually see of Godzilla. The suspense continually builds until you finally get a glimpse of him. Then he's gone, leaving you anticipating his next appearance on the screen. It is an incredibly smart choice by the filmmakers to leave Godzilla looming in the background as you watch the story unfold. And the plot is good too. The movie knows what it is, and unlike Transcendence, whose review you can see on our website, it does not take itself too seriously and just brings the fun. All the smashing and the bashing and the monster mashing makes for a seriously enjoyable experience. The cast does their part too, adding the simple human element that keeps the whole thing grounded with them reacting appropriately to the craziness that is Godzilla. The arrogance of man is thinking nature is in our control and not the other way around. Let them fight. Godzilla is one of those films that you know not to take too seriously and that makes the viewing experience far more enjoyable. Just facing that big screen, putting on your 3D glasses, and watching the mayhem and the sheer awesomeness that is Godzilla is absolutely delightful. I highly recommend this film. 